dollars, twelve dollars per spot, depending on the time you're on television and the actual uh, event that your your commercial is on. So, with that being said, it's for a small business, for an artist, for a model, for a production, for anything to actually promote, and you're paying thirty-five dollars for a commercial, and you get it on TV, and you spend a hundred more dollars to put it on TV. You have about eight or nine spots. You're going to get people off of those eight or nine spots. More so than you would off of a flyer or off of word of mouth, which you still should be using. So with all of that being said, um, I learned more and more about film. I'm not a film student. I didn't go to school, any of those good things. I just had a service. I had a business, and I needed to promote it. The people I went to didn't want to help me promote it or they wanted to charge me to the point where I would go out of business to actually use their service. So with that being said, we started doing more and more with the filming aspect, and we decided, hey, why don't we put something that would be more artistic on the DVD? So we started going to poets and saying, hey, we want to use your poem and turn it into a short story. So that's where we are now. We have a short story, it's a poem called Somewhere, Somewhere Else. And basically what it is, is it's a poem about a man and a woman. Real simple, it's probably, it probably represents one day, but that one day represents their whole relationship. Anybody here been in a relationship? Anyone? <laughs> Anybody? Okay, I'm proud of, probably sure it's just about everybody has been in one. What this is, is, uh, a lot of times in a relationship, you find that the man believes everything is cool. And the woman is like, you know, going through. <laughs> like, I can't believe you're sitting there playing this video game or watching television or reading this paper or about to go play basketball or whatever you like to do, washing your car. And we have World War III going on in the house. Now nah, she's smiling. She's cool, she's receptive, she cooked breakfast. So you believe everything is cool. And that's what this poem is about. It basically took, took it from waking in the morning to the end of the day. They woke up in the same house, two different mentalities. And by the time he comes home and he's setting the table and candlelight and setting the dinner up and he's like, I'm gonna make up for whatever is wrong. She's on a train leaving them forever. Now, I don't know if any of y'all ever been left forever. You know, not like she broke up with you, but you still have her number or her Facebook, or, you know, he broke up with you, but, you know, every once in a while he calls. We're talking about R&B song breakup. Like, you know, she ain't never coming back. <laughs> You'll never see her again. That's what it is. And it's, it's real, I don't want to say informal because we, we do have a script and it's based off of the poem. It's not you saying the poem, it's based off of the poem. So it's the actual, it's not the actual dialogue from the poem. You actually have words that you will say. And what it's about is putting yourself into it. So if you played the part, if you played the part, if you played the part, y'all would play it differently because you three different people, you know, everybody is different. So the way you handle your relationship would be different from others. We don't want it to be overly crazy, like, you know, why did I get married to a girl? You know, you know, she always screaming and going mm -hmm. crazy. We don't want it overly like that. We want it to be you. How would you be in that situation? But the reason why we need actors and actresses opposed to just an artist giving them exposure is because it's based off of poetry, which means it's based off of real, raw emotion. And you can't just fake that. So. We're looking for five people, two males, three females, preferably in the age frame. You gotta at least look between 20 and 35. So, you know, you know it could be if you look like you're between 20 and 35 <laughs> and you wanna play the part. Um, we will have the casting, but anybody who's here who wants to actually try out for it or send a headshot or send a video, whatever the case may be, get first dibs for supporting Miss Stephanie and the casting call. Um, 
other than that, you know, that's what I do. We're going to have a lot more, so if we have poets in the building or anybody who aspires to be an actress or actor who wants to be a part of a production, just either send me a poem or, you know, whatever the case, the video, the audio, whatever it is, and, you know, your headshot, whatever the case may be, so we can check it out and go from there. We just want to tell stories that basically represent the everyday people, but isn't uh, a cross between the minister society and, you know, love and hip hop, you know. <laughs> so we want it to be, it's, and by no means, believe me, I believe in God and all of that good stuff, but I'm not making the, the church aspect of things. It's more the, what you, more contemporary, what you would see on the regular every day, you know, few people sitting in here right now probably represent the actual story that we're doing, you know, soon. We also have another one coming up. It's called, uh, it's more of the hip hop side. So, um, I, unless you like being around guns and, you know, in the projects at Charleston, I probably wouldn't tell any of y'all about that, but it's called Life and Times. <laughs> <laughs> Life and Times of Marley Scarfo. For anybody who knows Marley Marl, the artist, the rapper, he's going to do a, we're going to give an artistic vision of his life of coming up in the music game and, you know, try to make it entertaining, which on my side means a lot of shooting and, you know, all of that good stuff. <laughs> but anyway, we, so basically we do everything. So that's all I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. that consist of having it all together, and I don't. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, we're probably going to start the casting for it more than likely in a week. Um, I have an official date, and of course, I give it to Miss Stephanie Gilmore, and we can go from there. Um, as far as starting it, like I said, I only want five people, and I'm the type of person, honestly, I've been sitting on this poem for too long. It's been about four months. I put out a DVD every two months, and I'm, I was supposed to already do two by now. So I'm ready to get it going, get it started, and get it done. And honestly, I'm not the starting the movie guy because I don't my my attention isn't that well. So I want to grab the project, start the project, finish the project, you know, and not rushing it, but actually get it done. Because once I see the idea, I'm like, oh, cool, that's great. I want to do it. So I want to actually see it. I'm a fan. I don't actually want to just sit there and watch the process. I want to get it done. But uh, as far as the other one, it starts tomorrow. Well, it starts on Monday. But like I said, I don't think y'all would want to be a part of that. <laughs> so I'm just telling you. But anyway, any other questions, comments?